All right, YouTube, listen up. It's Friday. And Fridays are good. Well, they may or may not be good, depending on the individual and what they do for a living. But uh, for me, it is a weekend. And it's fair to say that my weekends are not restful things. Uh, I'm a father of two kids. Kids are a handful. And they make the weekends very, very hectic. Both days, nonstop. But it's a great kind of busy, because I love my kids, and they're fun. They're actually getting to be super funny, but I don't have to go into that, because I'm naturally biased. They're my offspring, and uh, I think they're the best. But I'm not here to talk about them. I'm here to talk about how it's Friday, and how that reminds me of Throws and Brews Friday, which I guess used to be more of a thing on Reddit than it is now. I didn't realize that I haven't seen it really be a thing in a long time, but it used to be a thing where people would post a picture of a yo-yo and an alcoholic beverage and just say, hey, happy Throws and Brews Friday. And that's all they'd post. It was kind of like a mail day thing. Um, just a random photograph. And for those who didn't drink, they would uh, they'd get cute and post a picture of a uh, cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Because you brew those too. It's not like beer monopolized the word brewing. You can brew all kinds of stuff. I think even storms brew, but that's a hard picture to take. So anyway, Throws and Brews Friday is a thing. I thought of it because it's Friday and it's nice out, and that naturally led me down the little mental wormhole into Throws and Brews, the YouTube channel, which reminded me, hey, there's this weird thing I do that I thought I'd share with people. Now, before I get into that, I need to be very clear. Tom, I love you, man, and I love your channel. I, I subscribe, I watch your content, and I think... I think everybody should. I'll recommend it to everybody because there's a lot of really good stuff on that channel. Um, I found Frozen Brews when I was just starting out and there's still things from a year ago that I've heard Tom talk about that still resonates with me and that I refer to. He did a Random Tuesday Thoughts maybe a, an entire year ago and it was just him talking about how yo-yoers should be good to each other. Uh, give somebody a yo-yo teach somebody a trick just these little little thoughts he had that really stuck with me and I've watched that video more than once I've watched it recently and I've referred it to other people that's just one example of the ton of stuff that Tom uploads that is beneficial and good and I like it um, he was also there when I was just starting to hear about this concept of vibe and I was getting all worried about it because I didn't understand it. Well, what am I supposed to do with my thumb? I don't, what, what's, what's bad? Uh, he had a video about vibe, talking about it, explaining it, and really kind of soothing the anxiety, saying, it's not that big of a deal. Everybody calm down. It was perfectly timed, and I'm forever thankful for that. So, I'm talking up Tom, just in the hopes that it is super duper clear that what I'm about to say is not to insult Tom or make fun of Tom or say anything negative about him and his channel. Because this is just, I think it's fun. It enhances my experience when watching uh, a Tom video. And what do yo-yoers love more than enhancing the fun at any given moment? That's why we carry a yo-yo around. We have a moment of downtime, we reach for a yo-yo, moment enhanced. That's what we do, it's what we like. So, here's a thing you can do to enhance your Throws and Brews channel watching experience. Which doesn't involve getting in an accident. You didn't have the right of way Toyota Caravan. That's not a caravan. It's a mini, it's, it's a minivan. Anyway, um, ADD much? Next time you're watching a Throws and Brews video, if you feel the need for some enhancement, and this is important, it works best in a video when Tom is, has a brew with him, when he's holding and sipping a brew. In that video, go to the play speed and lower it to 75 or 50%, just for 30 seconds or a minute. And, oh, Lord, I have cry laughed watching it because he just sort of sucks like this for a while. And contests are really cool. And it makes me so happy. And I love it. And to be fair, if you slow down any video of any human being talking, they're going to sound like they've had a brew or two. 
if you slow this video down, it'll happen. It's not just Tom, but the fact that he's also actively drinking a brew just brings it all together. And I just, I just had to share that. I've done that a few times, and it's been nothing but joy every single time. One last random thing that you didn't ask for and may not care about, um, knitters. Do you know anybody who knits? I know several knitters. And one thing that I respect about a knitter is their ability to identify, hone in on, and just seize the opportunity of the smallest moment of downtime. If they're in mid-conversation with someone and they need to take a moment to think, uh, should we get half pepperoni and half sausage or like full pepper? Hey, Linda, do you want a whole, whole pepperoni and sausage pizza or should we do the half, half and half thing? If someone so much as trails off to do that, the knitter's there. They see it, they seize it into the, their little bag and they get a loop loop done. It's fascinating and inspiring and I respect the hell out of it because I think as a yo-yoer, I think we are all kind of good at the same thing. It's what we carry a yo-yo to enhance any given situation and we are good at finding those situations and just getting a few throws through. Getting a, getting a trick circle in while you're in line at the pharmacy or while your significant other is taking a moment to think something over that isn't that hard just make a decision but if you need to think about it fine I'm getting my yo-yo up um, and I just thought there was a parallel there and I thought I'd blab about that too because I got a camera why not um, anyway my, my drive here is done so uh, I'm done I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and uh, that review is going well hopefully posting that soon I'm editing it with some new software, so there's a learning curve, but it is so much better than what I was using before. I'm beyond thrilled. I can't wait to finish it. Um, goodbye for real. Great weekend. Thanks for tuning in.